This video is on writing and graphing equations of lines in slope-intercept form. Recall that slope-intercept form of an equation of a line is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope of the line and b is its y-intercept, that is, where the graph of the line crosses the y-axis. So for example, in the linear equation y equals negative two-fifths x plus four, it has a slope of negative two-fifths and a y-intercept of four. That is, it crosses the y-axis at the point 0, 4. To graph an equation of a line in slope-intercept form, we want to begin with the y-intercept, which is the b, and move with our slope, which is the m. So let's do an example here. So let's go ahead and graph that y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 4. Notice my b, my y-intercept is 4, so I'm going to start at 4 on the y-axis and put a point right there because that's my y-intercept. Now my slope of negative two-fifths, I can actually put that negative on the top if I like, or I can put it in the denominator. So with the negative on top it means that I'm going to, from that y-intercept, I'm going to move down two and to the right five and put a dot. And I can continue to go down two and right five. If I think of the slope as a positive 2 over a negative 5, that means I'm going to go up 2 and write 5, up 2 and write 5. And you can see it doesn't matter which way you do that. You're going to end up with points on the line either way. And then connect those points, and there's your line graphed. Given the graph of a line, you can write its equation in slope-intercept form by identifying its slope and its y-intercept. So here we have an example that says write an equation in slope-intercept form of the line that is graphed below. So what I want to do is I want to identify what is my m and what is my b. Well, b is probably the easiest. That's your y-intercept. So that's going to be the point negative 3, because that's negative 3 on the y-axis. Now for my slope, I think the easiest way to do this is just to count. Don't pick two points and calculate the slope, just count between any two points. So starting at the y-intercept, if I need to get to this next point to the right here, I've gone up 2 and right 3. Up 2 is a positive 2, right 3 is a positive 3. If I had chosen to go the other direction, let's say from my y-intercept to this point to the left, I would have gone down 2 and left 3, well, down is a negative 2, and left is a negative 3, and a negative over a negative is a positive. So my equation of the line is going to be y equals my m, which is 2 thirds, x, plus my b, or minus 3. So we can write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form if we are given the slope and the y-intercept, or the slope and any point on the line, or if we're given any two points on the line. So let's take, an, take a look at an example of each one of those situations. So here we have, write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form that has a slope of negative 3 fourths and a y-intercept of 7. So I know my slope is negative 3 fourths. I know that my y-intercept is 7. So I'm just going to plug those numbers into y equals mx plus b. So y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 7. That's probably the easiest case when you're given the slope and the y-intercept. Second example here says write the equation of a line in slope-intercept form that has a slope of 2 thirds and passes through the point 9 comma 2. Well I know that my slope is 2 thirds but I don't know what my y-intercept is. But I can find that. So if I start with y equals mx plus b, I know that my slope is 2 thirds and I know that a point on the line is 9 comma 2. I know that 9 is an x on the line and 2 is a y coordinate, y point on the line. So I'll just plug those in for y and for x and now I can solve for b. So 2 is equal to 2 thirds times 9 is 18 over 3 or 6 plus b and then subtracting 6 on each side. b is equal to negative 4. So I have the equation y equals my m, which is 2 thirds, x plus b, which is negative 4. And my last example here 
asks me to write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form that passes through the points negative 2, 13, and 3, negative 12. So I don't know what my m is, and I don't know what my b is, but I can actually find both of those. Let's start by finding the slope. So recall that to find the slope, we're going to subtract the y-coordinates. On top, negative 12 minus 13 over the difference of the x-coordinates, 3 minus a negative 2, so that's negative 25 over 5, or my slope is negative 5. Now I'm going to do this as I did the problem up above, using y equals mx plus b, and I can choose either point to plug in for my x and my y. Maybe I'll just go ahead with the first one here. So y is 13, my m is negative 5, the x coordinate at that point is negative 2 plus b. Now I just solve this for b. So 13 equals 10 plus b. b is equal to 3. So the equation of the line is y equals negative 5, which is my m, x, plus my b, which is 3. So in this video, we took a look at how to write and graph equations of lines in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b.